Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a quick get ready with me. Um, this is just like a makeup look that I would do if I am trying to leave the house and I'm in a hurry. So that's what we're gonna do today. So first I start off with uh, my eyebrows. I start off by doing my eyebrows. I like this e.l.f. one. This is my favorite one right now. It's the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Um, I'm kind of running low on this one. But this is what it looks like. Let me flip it this way. That's what it looks like. I think they only have three colors. I get the darkest one. I don't know um, the name of it. So since I'm running low on that one, I'm going to use this one by Wet n Wild. This is the Retractable Brow Pencil Crayon. And this one is in the shade Medium Brown. So I'm gonna use this one, and it kinda has that little um, cornered tip. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick. And I don't try to make them super perfect, I just try to fill them in because usually I don't have time when I'm going for this look. I don't have time to spend too much time on my makeup, so. Just trying to fill them in a little bit. And then. I'm gonna do this one. This one's a harder eyebrow to do. I feel like it's higher than the other one, but it goes lower on the inside and higher on the arch, so this one always gives me problems, but what can you do? So if I don't have any time to do my makeup, I can get this done in like maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. And then I'm just gonna brush through them with the little spoolie side. And that's it for the eyebrows. And I don't shape them. I mean, I don't carve them out or anything. And then next, this is the Olay Henriksen Banana Eye Cream. It looks like this, if it'll focus. Banana Bright Eye Cream. So I use this around my eyes. And then I'll go in with the... The... Face Moisturizer also. And this one feels good and it doesn't make me... Um, doesn't leave my face oily so that's why I like using this one and here is it's called the sea rush brightening gel cream and excuse my nails I haven't done them I just um, recently took off the last ones that I did in the last tutorial so Okay, so I'm just gonna put this all over my face and then we'll move on to concealer. And that's pretty much all I do. I just use concealer. Um, Cause I feel like I have really dark circles around my eyes and that's where my focus is. When I try to, I guess, look a little bit somewhat put together is under my eyes. First I'm going to go in with this Age Rewind um, concealer. This one's by Maybelline. This one's in the shade Golden Doré. Something like that. It looks like this. And the reason I use this one is because it's um, really close to my skin color so I don't really need anything after this once I use this. Although I do go on 
on top of it with the uh, Makeup Revolution one concealer. So I just put this under my eyes. I try to go all the way up to my lash line and then a little bit on my forehead, down the sides of my nose, and then the sides of my mouth because it gets really dark around my mouth also. Okay, and then I go in with this little e.l.f. brush. It is broken, um, but I don't know why I still, I still use this. So I just um, kind of push the makeup into my skin. And underneath the eyes, I kind of just drag it down so it blends in with the rest of my face. I try not to get any on my eyelids. Um, just because they already have somewhat of a darker color, so it kind of acts like acts like eyeshadow. So that way I don't need to put any eyeshadow. Sometimes I will go in with my bronzer though and still put some on. Okay, so now that I've done that, um, I'll go in with this Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, and this one is in the shade C12. So it looks like this. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah. And then I'll just go on top of the concealer, and then um, I try to get like right under the lash line. Like as close as I can to the lash line. And this one is still somewhat um, similar to my skin color because I don't try to like do a lot of brightening if it's just like an everyday um, makeup trying to run out of the house. And then I'll go back in with the same brush and then just tap it. And to set it, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Setting Powder, and this is um, in the shade Rose. I don't grab a lot because I don't want like a powdered look under my eyes, so I just get whatever's on the lid and then just tap it off. And you can see like how much powder it is. Yeah, and then I just shake the brush also, and it still has a lot of product on it, so... A little bit goes a long way, but it smells really, really good. It smells like cotton candy. And then I just kind of press that underneath my eyes. <coughs> just to tap it in anywhere I put the concealer. That way it stays in place. Next, I'll go in with this angled brush. I don't know where this is from, but any brush will pretty much do. And then I'm going to use this, um, it's called Brilliance Bronzer. It's by BH Cosmetics in the shade Coco Cutie. The shade here. So again, this one's very pigmented, so I just kind of tap it off and try not to use so much. And then I just go on... Um, my cheekbones, just like I would with blush. And then sometimes I'll go in with highlighter. Um, most of the time I, I don't, but sometimes I will. And then I'll just get around the forehead also and just blend it out. Now that that's done, I'll move on to the eyes, and my two favorite mascaras um, are the Great Lash Mascara. I like the brush, that's why, and this one I believe is in Black is Black, and it's also um, waterproof, so I don't think this one is, but usually I get it in waterproof, but I like the brush because you can really get like the corners of the inner corners of your lashes. So it's either this one or the Voluminous, the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. Those are my two favorite mascaras. I forgot to curl my lashes. And I know this is taking quite a while because I'm filming it, but like I said, usually this is like maybe five or 10 minutes. And then I just try to coat a lot of mascara. I need a new one because this one is 
drying out. I'm gonna try to start filming in the mornings. That way um, I can talk through these videos. Usually I'll do get ready with me's and I don't talk through them because I film upstairs and right behind me is the game room and my son's always playing on um, playing Fortnite or whatever and he's always yelling at the TV so that's why I usually do voiceovers or like someone's always in the house and I'm still not comfortable um, like talking on camera I feel like I sound stupid, you know, I'm sitting here talking to a camera by myself and so, and I don't think anybody like understands. I have two boys and my husband and they get it. They know I like to make videos just to make them, but it's still somewhat uncomfortable trying to talk and film and if they hear me, I kind of feel dumb. So. Today I actually woke up early, everybody's asleep, so maybe I'll just start waking up early and filming in the morning, that way it's okay if I talk through the video because everybody's asleep. So, and then lastly, I'll just go in with some chapstick. This one is by the Chapstick brand. This one's Peaches and Cream. My favorite one is the um, the birthday cake one. But oh, here it is. Here or cake batter. So this one's my favorite one. So I'll just use this one. And then sometimes I'll put a gloss on, or not a gloss, but like one of these um, Wet n Wild matte lipsticks because I really, really like these. So this one's the one that I usually go for. Look, I have powder on my arm. So, and then I'll just like put it in the center. And that's pretty much it. So this is a finished look. This is a quick everyday look if you're just heading out the door and um, you don't have a lot of time to do your makeup. So this is what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and you know let me know if you did like it, if you didn't. Um, and or if you have any other suggestions on other videos that you want me to do or other looks or anything um, just leave a comment down below and I guess that's it so I will see you guys in my next video